right. Yeah. So, cold call. You pitching me. Go ahead. You're a broker. You're in Barry. You're call calling me. Go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, hi. Is this uh, JT? Yes. Who's calling? Oh, hi. It's Jeff calling. It's Jeff calling from the Peggy Hill Real Estate Team in Barry. How are you today? Good. Good, good. I'm just giving you a quick call because I've seen there's quite a few properties in your area that have been up for sale and have actually sold recently as well. I'd love to talk to you a little bit more about what your real estate plans look like for the next uh, you know, few months. Have, have you considered anything down the road or, or just questions about maybe what your uh, uh, property might be worth? Just what the plans look like. Yeah, no, either. Uh, we don't really plan on, on selling right now. It's just with, with the pandemic and everything, we're just going to stand put. Yeah, so, so the pandemic's got you a little bit concerned. Yes. Yeah. What, what's the biggest concern you have with the pandemic right now? Dying. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's that's uh, that's a good point. Uh, in terms of the, putting the house on the market, though, I mean, like, is that the the primary concern in terms of uh, I'm not putting it on the market right now? I'm sorry, I don't understand, sir. Why are you mumbling? Mumbling. Oh, I I apologize. I I didn't mean to mumble. What I what I meant was what would what would be your biggest fear in regards to putting your property on the market or 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 just what's uh, not, not, not interested in selling right now. Not interested in selling right now. Have you thought about it down the road, perhaps? I, I don't know. Right now, it's not really important. It's not. It's not important. So you're happy to stay where you are right now. Yes. Yeah, happy to stay. All right, that's that's fair. Uh, if uh, if you'd like, I can uh, try to stay in contact with you uh, down the road for perhaps when the timing's right, or if you've got any friends or family that might have questions about the market, I can help with that as well. Okay. Um, very safe. I would say it's like it's salesy. It was just kind of like you didn't adjust your your pitch to the situation. You understand? I'm yeah. a, you be you be who I was, and I'll be you. Okay. 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 Sure. What's, your name? What's your name? Jeff. Uh, but I don't want to be a Freemason because I believe that women should have equal rights to men. Is that okay? I agree with that too. I'm part of the Free JC, Free JT movement. Um, so, um, okay. Um, ring, ring. Hello. Hi. Is this JT? Yeah, this is JT. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? So my name is Jeff, and I'm a top realtor in the area, and. What I have been doing, first of all, I just want to call how are you guys doing health-wise? Because I've been calling a lot of people in the neighborhood to make sure that everybody's fine, our community. How are you, how are you guys doing right now? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hanging in there. Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's not as, not as, as good as in Toronto, uh, what's happening right now. I'm calling you because I have had a lot of clients past or present, always inquire about your properties. I've driven by your properties. I'm aware of your property as well. It's a beautiful piece of property. And whether you're interested in selling or not, I'd like to sit down with you to just show you what the market value of your properties, what you can get. Because unlike other properties right now, I actually think you could get top dollars, whether now or later. And even though people think that the pandemic um, is an issue in the real estate market, where we are right now in Barrie, right? And, and, and Muskoka and all that, people want to go because they want to get outside the city. They still want to do their holiday and it's going to be a place away from away. And there's still a lot of people that have a lot of money as well. So I was wondering, you know, and Bruce just get to know you. I like to get to know everybody in the area. We haven't had the pleasure to meet. If that would be okay, um, you know, obviously, you know, if we can go out or we're just going to do a, a longer conversation so I could just show you what the value is. And sometimes there are a few things that you can do to your property that can actually increase the value of your property sometimes. And if you start doing them now, they're kind of not that expensive, but they have a long-term appreciation. And whether you want to sell it does or not, you know, in this area, there's certain things based on what the buyers look for that maybe been a little bit different uh, a few months ago. And I'd like to share that with you. No obligations, no nothing, you know, and if you want to sell, great. If you don't want to sell, maybe in the future, but I've been doing this. One thing we do about our clients, we always... I always make sure they know. And I've had clients that took five years before they got to me. But everyone keeps talking about your property, so I'd like to see if I can uh, have a chat with you. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Now, what did I do here that was different? You got me to – you got my wheels turning. You gave me a value proposition. Uh, it was very open-ended, and it would be like, why wouldn't I want to know 
what you've right. got to say. So yeah. I'm, I'm not selling, right? And chances are you know the area, you know the property, right? Sure. Yeah. And I establish, hey, you know what? Let's let's find out how we're doing, as opposed to, hey, I want to list your house. Do you want to sell your house? Right. Let me tell you what's yeah. worth. Right. And if they came up to say, I'm already working with another realtor. Say that. You know, I'm actually already working with another realtor, JT. That's fantastic. Have you signed with them, or are you plan on working with them? Yeah, I was just planning on. It. I haven't signed anything. Okay. That's you know that's not a problem. Listen, I'm the type of person. I just give you my opinion. They may have a different opinion. In this market, it's always best to have two opinions. Now, if they're not working with somebody else, it's always better to have one opinion, mine. Yeah, you understand? This is true. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay? absolutely. So now you're saying, hey, not a problem. Let me just tell you. Then you can compare, right? And you can right. compare. But here's nothing wrong. Sometimes people pull comps a little bit differently. Sometimes people undervalue a property. Sometimes they over. Let me just tell you what I think. And yeah. if they came up with a valuation, let me know what it is so I can do a comparison. But don't tell me now. I'd like to do my own independent research first. And then we compare. Would that be okay? Got it. And I'll do it for yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Cause you're not pushing. Yeah. It makes sense. You, you, you're creating value for the other person there. Regardless, you're not pushing them for anything. You're taking the Canadians don't like to be sold. Right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the area you were trying to sell me. Eh? And by the way, I would know cause I'm Canadian. So it's a different, and you're in a different part of town, a different type of place that, that is very much more, they live there for a specific reason. They live there to be away, not yeah. to be the hard grind of Toronto and everything else like that. So it's kind of like an away place. Well, you, I, I think you're absolutely right with that. Like, I know I'm right. I, yeah, I said there you it. Go. Yeah, there you go. And there I'm not go. even a Freemason, and, and I'm right. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> amazing. Okay, no, that makes sense. I, I like it. I like it. Do you have Millionaire Flakes?